Welcome back. Uh, this morning, let's play a few games on Shogi Wars. Uh, ordinarily, we play 10 minute games. So uh, today, let's continue playing some 10 minute. Um, I guess try to regain my knowledge and spirit of how it is that I play third file rook strategy. And just use this as some kind of confidence booster going into the weekend and later in the week and so forth. At some point, I'll have a tournament game. Oh, sorry. Let me fix this. At some point, I'll have uh, games in an American tournament. Good luck. And it'd be good if I were as prepared as possible for that. Shogi Wars is not really the best tool for preparation at all, but um, it is a tool. And it's fun. So... Uh, let's not forget that. Hey, let's play Opposing Rook, because that's fun too. Um, okay, so I see my opponent is already expressing an interest in using this silver to attack here. Um, let's make a run for this here. And yeah, ordinarily I would consider other things here. But here this bishop exchange um, actually seems to kind of work out. Yeah, now this has got my interest. Again, Shogi Wars is fun. So part of my purpose in playing this morning was to try to prepare for an American tournament that I'll be playing eventually with Ion Gray. And he's, uh, I think, ranked uh, fourth Don on 81 Dojo. Um, see how that goes. But part of this is just Shogi Wars can be fun. So, yeah, when my opponent plays shapes like this, um, I can kind of play free-spirited on my end, right? Uh, oh, okay, so this defends against a potential Bishop Fork idea. Sure, I kind of get that. Uh, I guess they do have this drop right in my camp. Potentially that could be problematic, although I can meet it with a bishop drop of my own. Yeah, so... Let's also push here. Since we're both castling this way, I want to at least have some space for my king to escape. Um... A tricky position. It doesn't help that I've played something that's off the main line that like we're not none of us are super familiar with. Oh that's a fork that I can't trivially meet. Interesting. Yeah this kind of negates what I was saying earlier because since my bishop is hanging I can't just drop my other or I since my gold general's hanging, I can't drop the bishop here to defend my position. Um, that said, this isn't terrible. I'm still going to play with quite a fight. Um, most of my position is holding together pretty well, despite being this really weird shape. Okay, so I encourage an exchange here. I've opened a line between this rook and the king. This pawn is still loose here. They're trying to open a fork, so I lose my rook. Uh, they don't have a pawn in hand just yet to exploit this fork. Um, trying to figure out how it is that I should play this. Oh, I could switch from opposing rook to a different file at this point. Um, and I think it behooves me to do so, although they drop a bishop, I counter drop a bishop. I think it's fine. Uh, but no, they're going to fork my king and lance then. That's not, still not great. Um, yeah, this is a messy position. I think I need to take here either way, regardless of where we're going next. 
but my rook, or rather, I'll need to block this diagonal leading to my king. Um, so I can push this pawn to deal with that, or I could push my knight. Pushing the knight has lots of risks that are hard to mitigate. Um, yeah, let's just push the pawn. So they'll drop a pawn here. And my position is going to suck for quite a bit. But I think maybe on the other side of things, it'll be better. Maybe. Um, so, Nanafun. yeah, that attacks my silver. Um, hmm, if I drop this bishop here, they drop theirs here, we exchange, and this diagonal becomes blocked. I can drop a bishop here, they can defend again. I don't have a clear path forward. Um, actually, I do have a clear path forward. Let's go for it. This looks fun. So they drop a pawn. If they do, actually, if we bishop exchange, that's a problem for me. But that's not what happened. All right. Instead, we have this melee going on, um, which I don't think either of us adequately prepared for. So, this leaves us in a quandary of everything's hanging. Um, I think I could use the slants, and then I could use the knight. I think my king is at least as safe as theirs, probably more so. Uh, uh, my king is two squares closer to the edge than their king is, so I hope that along the king's journey toward the corner, or toward wherever it's going next, I'll be able to repeatedly target it. I think they're considering this bishop drop, um, and I probably don't want to exchange here. Oh strange so that's really heavy um now i get to build mino castle which is very strong against attacks from the side yes they do have a rook attacking me no i'm not alarmed maybe i should be alarmed but i'm not um Okay, let's take this knight, which brings us closer to attacking their king. A knight and a lance are useful attacking pieces. I mean, yeah, I'm aware throughout this exchange they did collect one more silver, and they have a silver out in no man's land. So this theoretically could be double-edged. Uh, as for how to actually evaluate it, I don't know. Okay. They do drop this knight. Um, I was wondering if I'm going to drop a knight here. I see, they're going to try to attack with a knight and with a bishop. Um, okay. Let's make some attempt to defend this. I didn't actually proactively observe this horse defends the point until just now, but it's convenient that it does. Um, generally, a horse is, they say, is worth three generals if you can get your horse into a, a defensive posture. Right, I did see this counter, uh, so we'll take here, and then we'll defend again. Now, I have not used my Rook or Lance or Knight yet, um, so there's still time for me to figure out the best way to use these.
Let's line up this rook in a way that I'm not going to drop it to a king rook fork. Another possibility would be here, but that's a little easier for them to block. Uh, plus this way I can take there and strike here too. So I foresaw this possibility, which is actually what motivated me to do it this way. They can do silver takes, but my attack continues and theirs may or may not. Silver takes would not be a bad idea. Um, this bishop drop is also quite heavy. My knight's not attacking anything other than this fold, so I will exchange it. And then we'll save the rook and continue attacking. Oops. Um, hmm. This is tricky. This seems like a decent square for a lance. So we'll attack the castle from the left and from the right. Uh, the idea is if I can somehow bust this up, I might exchange my gold for a silver to further decompose this castle. Or if they're giving me a knight, I could maybe use that somehow. Um, okay, this knight is aggressively postured. Let's remove it. And this allows my bishop back into their position. Oh, they don't have a bishop in hand anymore. Yeah, let's see where this goes. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm letting their knight in, but there's no longer a bishop to follow the knight. So I'm not as concerned this way. Meanwhile, I have fun attacking prospects, too. Right, and so I can remove the knight. Oh, they pinned the... Uh, they missed the pin. I missed the pin. We all missed it. Um... Hmm. This is the safest square for my king. As a chess player, I don't want to play anything that looks remotely like that, but um, here we are. And chess bringing out your king is usually perilous, and shogi not always. That loses a tempo. It protects a pawn, but loses a tempo. I'm sorry, if I attack that directly, that doesn't necessarily lead anywhere. We'll continue vacating a path for our king to escape forward.
I did debate trying to save the silver. All right. They needed a gold? Oh, I see. Interesting. Um, that's a problem. Yeah, that gold drop immediately mates, so I have to do something about that. This is something. It's not nothing. We'll try this. I'm not completely confident in it. So I've blocked my king. I don't like that about this. Um, there are positive aspects, but yeah. Let's use the dragon. Of course. Um, there's a lot of circular reasoning on my part. So I can't do horse takes lance because that doesn't work. I have to do something else here. This prepares horse takes lance, but maybe doesn't still doesn't work. Oh, that's checkmate. Thanks for the game. Wow. Okay, that's... Yeah, well played. One second. I need to get my alarm clock. Good luck. All right. Ooh, central file rook. That could be good fun. Let's have at it. <laughs> Turning down a central file rook challenge, eh? But why? Interesting. Well, this is a way to play. Uh, it's not my way to play. Okay, so I'm going to bring this forward and make some threats. Tuck the king away as quickly as possible. That's interesting. Surprising, even. Um, hmm. Okay, so they've given up all three of these squares. Uh, they want to develop the bishop a different way now. So we'll build Kibidomino, which is silver up, gold up, king back. 
Yeah, they've created... Well, they've blocked where the bishop would normally have developed to. Um, I'm still going to take the center. They activate their rook. I actually don't need to say no to that. Um, yeah, let me just castle. And then say no. And then take a free pawn. It's not entirely free. Alright. Uh, do I offer a rook exchange? That seems dangerous? Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a rook exchange if they drop a pawn in between. So, here we are. My silver is floating. Almost entirely ensnared. Their rook is very aggressively posted. And even more so now. <sighs> Do I offer a rook exchange? No, because I get forked and die. Um, they're... They are surrounding my silver general. Um, what can I do? Continue using my pieces as best as I can figure out how. Um, try to make some threats. Absent threats, just play a reasonable defensive move. Um, mm -hmm. This is fun. Okay, we will defend this point. Also start making lots of threats of our own. <laughs> if I take here, takes, 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 or their bishop takes. All right, so that's not where I'm taking. I guess we'll take here instead. And capture again. Uh, capture yet once more? No. It's a, it's a time loss if I do that. Um... It's a time loss I can afford, though. And, I mean, this way, I want a rooks exchanged so I can do a rook drop and really start attacking aggressively. That extra piece would help me immensely. I'm not so concerned about losing more pieces given how fragile their castle is. So I've already sacrificed one piece, and I'm willing to sacrifice more pieces uh, just so I can get my turn to attack. Um, play the rook to the third file because they don't have a pawn to block with. And since the rook has backed off, I... Let's continue pushing. Okay, my bishop's not useful in any other capacity, so let's use it this way. If 
If I take, I don't know, this is tricky. They can continue reinforcing this point, as can I. I would like to exchange this, so we're going to reinforce this point. Threatening to take this gold general. We're likely going to be coerced into doing this capture. Um, but yeah, we'll be lining up this pawn ad advancement multiple times here. Okay, let's push it once. Trade off our knight next, and then trade off whatever else we need to trade to continue this attack. Take here. Uh, if they take... Actually, uh, yeah. Material-wise, I've got more pieces in this attack than they do. Um, but also, I can win another piece here. Well, no, I, Go that's not how this works at all. Um... Yes, let's continue exchanging. This way I have two drag or a dragon and a rook. Um, let's prevent the king from quickly running. They're forced to drop something in defense. Silver is not the easiest piece to attack with, and definitely not the easiest piece to defend with, so let's attack this way. Uh, they can't reinforce this point a second time, so I should just pounce on it, but then, yeah. They don't have a way to reinforce this point, so we will take it. And then my dragon's not useful here, so let's move the dragon rather than the rook. I can use that to defend. Um, Somehow I have another silver available to me, so we'll drop that. And then collect the bishop. So this breaks the castle as much as possible. And continue surrounding the king. Alright, thanks for the game. Yes, I proceed very heavily there. Um, as, I don't know, I wanted to be sure their king wouldn't escape before I start sacrificing pieces. Good luck. Senta goes first. Alright, I'll offer this exchange. It's declined. Curious. Um, hmm. All right. Um, I need to know. So we're playing Temple Lost Bishop Exchange. Um, and I'll play Fourth File Rook here. 
understanding that if they pin my rook, I can drop a bishop to block this. I think their intention was to play third fall rook, which is why we've engaged on this fun little adventure. And not just for the purpose of collecting the Shogi Wars avatar, even though avatars are cute. Um, Alright, let's stay away from that. Okay, that is a defensive move. I'll defend this side. Interesting. If I take there, there's a fork. Okay, let's have some tactics. Why not? Tactics are fun. If I take the pawn, they take my silver, I take a knight, I'm in trouble. These are things to consider before playing the impulsive move. So let's bring the knight out. Oh, but now they can pawn drop on my... Well, they can. They should. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm giving away more material. Each time I make a decision here, it's a bad one. So pawn drop on the knight's head seems actually clearly good for them. And I'm not sure what I can do now that I've dug myself into this hole. Uh, I mean, if they pawn drop, I pawn drop, silver takes, I can take this pawn. Rook takes, my knight advances, okay. They're trying to add an end to this madness that I started. It makes sense. It is madness. You don't want, nobody wants this. Um, yeah. It's okay, though, since they've spent a tempo with this gold move. Um, suddenly I have something instead of nothing. Yeah, it's fine. I'm giving away material one way or another. There's more to this game than material. Now my king is extremely exposed too, which is a huge problem. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Okay, we'll clear this way so I can drop a knight. Take this knight so I have a knight to drop. Again, if silver takes, I can take this pawn. If the rook takes, I mean, eventually my attack does run out here. I guess any capture does adequately deal with my fork idea. My everything is hanging. Um, hmm. Hmm. Quite the difficult position I've dug myself into. Alright, I'll try to expose my rook. Oh, I see, yeah. You have a good point there. Yeah, my move was somewhere between unfortunate and willfully bad. 
and I'm not sure where in that spectrum, but it's pretty egregious. Um, I don't know what to try. Just keep pushing here. We've got one target, and that's all we've got. <laughs> we've got another target. Okay, they defend the other target. Can they defend both targets? Probably. Um, yeah, this sucks. Whatever, we'll just keep trying. Uh, it's going to take a lot of luck to get through this. But yeah, this uh, answers my curiosity adequately, I think. I mean, the best I could do is run my king at this point, because I have no attack. Oh, also, I won't be able to run the king after they take my lance. <laughs> um, that's a problem. Gofun. Okay, we'll try to attack here. Can we get a pawn? Maybe. If we're lucky. Oh, they blocked their horse. So, yeah, that's... Well, uh, they can do pawn takes pawn at any time and then win my rook, so I can't exactly take that. Strange, but compelling. Okay. Um, hmm. Material loss is not my greatest concern here. We have other problems to worry about. Got an active rook. And it just cost our entire army to get that. Also, if they take my gold, I basically have to sack the rook because of this discovery. Alright, so we'll sack the rook. Do we take the gold? It felt like an automatic capture, but uh, yeah. We're made it if we don't take that, so we are taking that. Um, this looks like a fun square for a night. Mm, 
that loses a knight to pretty trivial fork. Um, hmm. I guess I should proceed with the obvious move here. Though it doesn't go very far. Um, just keep going. I do have two pawns now, so my king can start to surround itself with these pawns. Um, I guess if they promote the rook, then that blocks their horse. Oh, also, yeah, this bishop fork collecting my knight is no longer there, but, like, surrounding this king is going to be extremely hard. Um... Okay, let's build a castle out of dust. They are really committed to that. I can't blame them. They can just keep sacking this over and over. I can't refuse it forever, so... Yeah. Um, we have to defend this way. A pawn drop would lose me this here, and lose me this too. So yeah, we have to defend this way, and this is completely inadequate, but, you know. What can you do? Yeah, so they can pile on this gold here, which maybe gives me time to bring up other golds to defend this gold. Or I could drop another gold to like chain all these together, but it's crazy. Um, now that's a reasonable attack. Um, hmm. I need to pretend that I have a castle. Okay. That's a problem. They have a general in hand. And a rook in hand. Alright, so this is our best escape. Although clearly it doesn't work at all. Bring this forward. Try to get an attack. I mean, maybe attacking from the front might have been looked more convincing, but um, I don't know, I'm trying to surround their king. Mm -hmm. Nifun. Right, our king is going on a vacation. Um, oh right, they can take there. All right, yeah, thanks for a game. Well played. Yeah, I have no attack. All right, well, that's your typical Shogi Wars 1Q adventures. Um, so... We'll probably be at 1Q for a super long time, although our rate did... Oh, that's their rate going to 38.3. I think this is just the outcome of a single game. Overall on the day, I don't know how I did, but we are at 24.4% at the end of the day. So we're probably going to be at 1Q until time ends, um, or until, like, I don't know. I don't use Kishi, and I have no interest in using it. Um, I assume most people don't use it, but I don't really care. Also, I don't care whether it says 1Q or 1Don. I don't care like how much incentive you try to provide me to use that button. I'm not using it. So, um, yeah, it's fun to try out ideas, see what obviously doesn't work. After you've played the game, it's obvious, but in the heat of the moment, it can be fun to try stuff. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.